Alrighty, so um, my presentation today, I'm going to talk to um, some of the more advanced um, implementations that we're seeing on customer site. Um, so obviously SharePoint 2010 has been around for some time now. So really just um, letting you see some of those adoption trends. One of the other things is, is this capability called Word Automation Services. So previously, if you were trying to create a mail shot um, using any of the Microsoft products, it's generally a client-driven activity. So you load up Word, you install some widget, and it will create you know, dozens of, uh, of documents for you. Um, if you tried to do that on the server side, um, it, it was pretty clunky. It was an unsupported um, scenario from Microsoft's perspective. So in SharePoint 2010, um, what's been introduced now is this concept where you can build rapidly but mul multiple documents on the server side okay so this is really interesting because again you've got some very um, um, exciting usage scenarios um, again previously if you tried to do this on um, your desktop as you can see here this um, documents per hour is it, was, it wasn't particularly um, fast word automation services is it goes like a rocket it's, it's super fast um, I'm not sure who this competitor is here, but they've clearly got a very lousy product because it's kind of doing next to nothing. So that's, that's everybody else, I guess. Um, so the main takeaway from here is that this is fast, it scales, it, it works, it's, it, it's wonderful. What's probably more interesting to you is, well, okay, well, just give me an example where you can use this um, technology. So where we've seen this being used on customer site to great effect was um, around document assembly. So I'm sure you all have a um, scenario um, along the lines of where you're dealing with, for example, a, um, a sales tendering process. Um, perhaps it's um, a big qualification, you know, this um, contract assembly, numerous um, scenarios where you've got multiple people working on the same document. Now, SharePoint helps you to an extent there because, you know, you've got version control and what have you, and there are some um, collaboration capabilities you can use. Um, but one of the interesting things that you can do with automation services is use that assembly capability to break down that document into, into a number of constituent parts, each with workflow, each with versioning, and then assemble that when you're at the end of the process, when you're ready. Okay, so in this scenario here, we had a customer who had a number of templates. So, for example, um, uh, th they've got a, a number of products and services that they sell. So they've got a, a standard template. Now, instead of having a Word document saying, here's template for X, they've broken that down into eight different sections. So there's the executive summary. There's the, um, the financial aspect. There's the, the sales marketing collateral. There's a number of different components. So when they, uh, they go into the proposal generation site and create a new type of this sales proposal, um, it will create all those templates, it will email off the respective people that are interested in completing those um, sections. They complete each of their own documents on the fly. Um, that goes through approval cycles for each of those, and then when it's all been approved, click on the button, system assembles that into one cohesive document and refreshes the table of contents and the footers and makes it all work, and then it, that's then submitted as a, a version one to go out to the customer. So you compare that to the typical process of um, you know, different people uploading version 1.2 new and things like that to your file shares and getting very confused around which is the current source of truth. Um, the additional benefit on this as well is if one of those, if the customer comes back and says, this is a great proposal, but I want you to change section XYZ, we've got the ability to take that back into draft. Um, it still has the um, components broken down and then we just reissue the workflow on that specific component that's changed. So it's a very powerful way of um, this specific customer um, collaborating and streamlining their existing sales process.